Well, there's one thing I was never good at in high school or my that? entire life. It was pitching. Uh -huh. Either softball or baseball, either way. It looks easy. It looks like you just wind up and throw it, but there's a lot of force that goes behind goes behind that ball when they're trying to throw a strike. Yeah, indeed. And, you know, you'd be surprised. Uh, a girl can be relatively short and still mm -hmm. throw a softball like 68 miles an Ooh. hour. They've got a facility in Whitehall, the Hitter's Edge, which was, uh, was hosting uh, some special clinics in that regard. Jenna Kowalski was there and tells us more about the seven deadly spins. Former Northampton alum and Bucknell pitcher Alex McLean, who graduated as one of the all-time leaders in strikeouts, turned a passion into a career. started playing when I was five years old and just really got into it. I'm a super competitive person. My students will tell you I'm extremely competitive and just started developing that. Education was my number one priority, so choosing a school like Bucknell that has very strong academics was my number one priority. We won the Patriot League Championship my freshman year. It was Rookie of the Year that year. Going to an NCAA regional was a really incredible experience and one I'll never forget. You can find her at Moravian in her fourth year as assistant coach or at Seven Deadly Spins Fast Pitch where she is an instructor to over 300 students. Pitching's as easy as one, two, three. We all know that's not true. That's why players need people like Alex. Throughout her career, she never imagined herself as a coach. But now that she is one, she couldn't imagine her life without it. I had no intention of getting into coaching. I actually started doing this for fun as a hobby, and it developed into a career. Um, I was teaching at Liberty High School at the time, and the teacher I was working with said, Em, I really think you should go for it. And I looked at him and I said, yeah, you're right, I should. And that's when I made the decision to move into full-time coaching. Alex's motivation to be so successful in the sport comes from deep down in her heart where she cherishes the memory of her father. I actually got my motivation to be a pitcher because my dad said I wasn't a good pitcher. Um, and then um, being very competitive, I wanted to be in a position with the pressure and be able to perform. Um, and that's how I got into pitching. He was my number one fan, um, best friend, my number one fan. So um, he's with us today. He actually passed away when I was 16. but. This is all because of him and my support of my family really, you know, gets me through those times. Even here, not every day is easy. Not every day is, you know, the girls are having their best day. But if we can give them the tools to get through those difficult times, that's what's really special. And there's days I come in and I'm just like, we'll just talk for a little bit and we'll talk during lessons, but we'll get stuff done at the same time. So it's like I look up to her as well. I think just being a female, um, a lot of coaches that I took lessons from were male and, you know, there were certain things that I wouldn't be comfortable talking to them about. Um, you know, sometimes the girls will just come in and let their heart out for you. And being, just like I said, being that person for them is one of the most valuable things I think we can provide. She's a coach that teaches her students more than just change-ups and fastballs. And if at the end of their session they leave with a smile, she knows she did her job. She puts us first. Like, she'll help us with whatever we need help with and just, just a great person overall. I have a great amount of pride, but this isn't about me. This is about the girls. And this is, you know, if we can help them and support them in their career and life outside of softball, that's my number one goal. So it's never about me. It never was about me, but it's always about how can I help these girls in softball and in life. On the scene at the Hitter's Edge, I'm Jenna Kowalski for Two Sports.